I feel so vindicated from the, t the stance I took on Colin Kaepernick punk ass. I mean, he is a scumbag of this earth. He is a low dip shit. He is a piece of shit. Now, t listen. He, I think he's probably daddy black, uh, but his mama white. I think his mom, I think his mom was white. Daddy was black. Uh, uh, Middle East, look, Middle East, whatever. He got some color in him. His mom gave him up five weeks, five weeks to adoption. Five weeks in, she can not can deal with him. These white parents take you in, give you an opportunity of a lifetime, put in thousands of work hours, thousands of dollars, flying you, picking up your practice, driving you to practice, buying for pads, buying for shorter pads, buying for cleats, buying for mouth pieces, buying for the, uh, what, buying everything for you, supporting you with probably trainers at, at the elite level. You get all this shit and you, just how you, 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 betray, you betray them for a paycheck, because you're trying to sell a book And they took you in No matter what color you was They didn't care was you a black little mixed kid They were, It was white family They took you in They could have got, got any other kid They adopted you They adopted you Changed your life Made you a success And now you don't have money anymore And now you don't have money anymore I mean now you don't need them anymore And you got your own money You make you making millions of dollars Off the backs of Dead black and brown bodies. You think it's cool to shit on your parents? We gotta get Jesus back in this world, man. Y'all be on the lookout for my new clothing line, Jesus, La Familia, Jesus, or Jesus Family and Sports. That's what we care about. That's what's be big on here out here in Texas, but we won't, I know it's big out here in other places in the world and the United States and the whole world. All about Jesus, God, Jesus, family and sports. Let's be pushing. Bible says, honor mother, thy father. Your days on earth you will last longer. If you don't, you're gonna be cutting short. So you're gonna do that. This is all part of this devil, toxic shit, Hollywood type weird, weird shit going on, man. I mean, this, this dude, um, uh, look, you can't be a martyr and mod he monetizing, he monetizing being a martyr. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work. Being a martyr, you, martyrs don't monetize. Making money, y'all know monetizing is making, making money. You making money off of black dead people, police brutality. I want to be black shit. I'm talking about Allen Iverson, bro. Allen Iverson was was him. Allen Iverson committed a white boy. He was gonna be him. People talking about he wear Allen Iverson wear his blackness on his sleeve. No, he wear Allen Iverson on his sleeve. It don't matter if he black, white, brown. Allen Iverson is real, bro. He's a juvenile like me. We real people. We don't give no what race we is. We care about who we are as people. We true to who we are. He could have been any other color race. He was going to be true to Allen Iverson, his, meaning himself. He's going to be him. Only Allen Iverson could be Allen Iverson. And he was the, there to the fullest. Getting braids and curl and tattoo. No, that's just, that's just who he was. That's who his culture was. That's who he is. He's not trying to be nobody. He's, he's not trying to be black. He is black. He is him. You can't be something you are. That's what Allen Iverson was. Colin Kaepernick trying to be something he's not. He having an identity crisis. These mixed half half Africans, half half African Americans want to be, want to fit into the black side so they can't fit in. They can't, can't fit in with their white side because they're too... They don't know how to fit in, so they have an identity crisis. And now we get into this racial division because y'all having racial and mama and daddy issues and race identity issues because y'all don't know what side of the race y'all want to be on. That's what i always been on Colin Kaepernick. He always been a fraud and fake. He was trash. I watched him. He was trash. I was a big fan. I loved the Colin Kaepernick. I was mad as fuck that they lost to the goddamn uh, Baltimore Ravens. I wanted them to win. I thought Michael Krabs getting hold in the end zone was a flag at the last play. I thought he should have called, called it. And then he started declining. I started seeing Richard Sherman in the Seattle Seahawks. Keep beating him, keep beating him. He couldn't throw the ball outside the numbers. He couldn't. I'm like, oh, man, this boy's ass. And then he got hurt. And then he couldn't play no more. He wasn't elite no more. And then nobody's going to pay money for a dude to be having all these distractions to be a backup quarterback. That's all it was to it. It was nothing else to it. It wasn't no races. He was standing up for black people. No, it was none of that. He didn't play everybody. He didn't play everybody. And everybody that went along with him was dead wrong. Was dead wrong and just as sick as him. And just got bamboos. They've been getting bamboos. That's what, that's what uh, Marxists do. It's like a cult. Take away from your family. Take away from your real culture, your identity. And you got to agree. Oh, oh, see, look. Your family ain't down with our cause. Get rid of them. Come grow on us. And they make you disrespect the people that been there for you. My saying is this. Never, dis ne never dis disrespect them. I'm going I'm, to I'm interview all of this. Never, dis never, ever, ever disrespect anyone that did something for you at a time that you couldn't do for yourself. 
and we all and, and these these fools, especially Kyle Kaepernick, is falling very short of that. They need to get back on track. Of that. It's, it's not too late for them to get redemption, but I, I think it's too late because he's too deep in this lie that he's been doing. I, I was standing for black people. No, you stand up for yourself. You made money for yourself. You made a career out of this for yourself. You never wanted to go play football again. You never wanted to play football again. Never. He never wanted to play football again. Y'all like to subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. I'm done. I'm done with Colin Kaepernick. I'm done with the lies. I hope y'all is too. I'm out.